I want to thank the Lord for our Constitution. I also want to thank the NRA for its legacy. The National Rifle Association was started, founded by religious leaders who wanted to protect free slaves from the Ku Klux Klan. They would raise money, buy arms, show the free slaves how to use those arms, and protect their families. God bless you. Many of us probably wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the NRA. But let me just briefly say that gun control for black Americans, we know that gun control has ultimately been about people control. It sprouts from racist soil, be it after the or during the infamous Dred Scott case where black man's humanity was not recognized. And the, just, the beauty about some racists is that sometimes they're blatantly honest. <laughs> and the racist Chief Justice Taney said, we cannot allow the law to recognize the humanity of this individual because he would be able to keep and bear arms. What a lot of democratic controlled segregationist governments after the Civil War attempted to deny black men and women their freedom. They instituted black codes largely to deny the Second Amendment from newly freed slaves. Uh, right after the Emancipation Proclamation, what was going on down in the southern states, uh, it's very clear that the Dixiecrats wanted to disarm black people to keep us from defending ourselves against the Klansmen who were murdering white and black Republicans to, con to control the ballot box. So I think history is ripe with examples of, uh, of, of there's a correlation, direct correlation between gun control and black people control. This current administration is far from the truth. This agenda is becoming more and more obvious to all that it's a distraction. It's a reason, it's an excuse to carry out an ideology that is more evident every, every day and every week that goes by, that it is anti-American. And when you touch the Second Amendment, you can't become more anti-American because America would not be without her guns. And guns would not be necessary without her God. We call upon Americans, both black, white, Hispanics, Republicans, Democrats, Independents, and even those who are not of our faith to agree upon this. Without God, without guns, and without the Constitution, America's end will come with haste. For when they change our Constitution, they will take our guns. And when they take our guns, they will also seek to take our God. That's when Americans will fight back.